All right, so in this video, uh, we're going to discuss how to do your own myofascial release for your quadricep muscles. Now, for this one, I would not recommend any tennis lacrosse balls, anything like that, just because we're talking about releasing a very broad area and there's four muscles. That's why they're called the quads, right? Uh, if you look at our Latin roots a little bit. Um, but the tennis balls are, massage balls are really great for working on smaller muscles or when you need to get like just that one specific spot. Um, myofascial release though, you're gonna have a much better reaction when you can work over a broader area, lots of fascial and lots of muscle tissue at one time. And since the front of the, front of the thigh is a broad area, let's use a broad tool. If you do not have a roller, you can use something like those large cans of soup or like the bean mixes. You can also use a baker's rolling pin. I have personally found that to be exceptionally great for working instead of regular foam rollers if you do not have one. Now, when it comes to myofascial release, I really recommend that you are warmed up first. So if you can do it post-workout, that would be best um, because going in cold into doing a release, just because it can be very intense, you're a lot more likely to end up causing any bruising or damaging to the tissue and it's just not gonna be a fun time in the moment or the days afterwards. If you are not able to do a full workout prior, maybe try and just do a little bit of warm up. So in this case, since we're doing talking about the quads, you know, if you could do like a one minute wall sit or maybe a couple rounds of it, do a few lunges. You can even just take the time to massage your own muscles for a few minutes, do some nice deportment, hitting on it for a minute or two, just anything that will warm the tissue up, okay? So let's assume we're already warmed up. We're gonna go lie down on our stomachs. So three slightly different approaches. Now the first approach, a uh, little bit, it's a little bit active. You're not staying in one spot. This is probably the type of rolling that most people think of, but it's also actually good if you are not warmed up because you have a lot of control to stay light over it and not put a lot of weight into the muscle um, and you could just roll back and forth uh, lightly and make that kind of the warm-up for the muscle. Similar how if you get a massage, you know, your therapist is gonna be moving over the muscle very broadly, not working deep, not working specific, and be doing that for several minutes to warm the tissue up before going deeper. So in the front of your pelvis, if you put your hands right here, you should feel two bony prominences. So this is the, the front prominences of your pelvis bone. If you dip your fingers right underneath that, you should feel some kind of tight, maybe slightly springy tissue, and that should you should be feeling the top of your quadriceps tendon, um, the big one that attaches onto the pelvic bone. The other three attach around the thigh, the main one attaches onto the pelvic bone, and that is that point right under the bone is where we're starting. So lay yourself down, find that top of the pelvic bone. You might feel sensation already. I notice I do right when I got to lie down. Um, I'm gonna actually put myself down a little bit more for the camera. So we're here. So this more active movement is basically when we're just rolling back and forth down the entire length of the quadriceps. So from just underneath the pelvic bone to the top of the knee. So you can use your other leg, your foot, army crawl yourself forward all the way to the end. Feel whatever you feel and then work your way back. So I recommend starting off, keep your leg in neutral so my, my toes are pointed downwards, my heel is straight to the sky. all the way to the end and going back. Now you can also make sure you're getting the entirety of your quadricep muscles by also internally and externally rotating the hips so that you get more of that medial quadricep and the lateral quadricep. So if I want to externally rotate the hip, my knee and toes, it's not gonna go a perfect 90 degree to the opposite wall, but you're kind of going like a 45 
degree of opening up. So the roller is now slightly more on the inner thigh and just do the same thing, going back and forth all the way to the end. Army crawl and army crawl back. I noticed that one is a slight spicy spot for me, so halfway down and back to the knee, I'm just going over a few extra times and make our way back. And then do the same thing, rotate the leg the other way. So you might have to rotate your whole body a little bit and that's fine. So I'm kind of at a 45 degree angle pointing away. And same thing. You might notice one side is more spicy than the other. Doesn't necessarily mean anything, but just other than that's a tighter area on you. And if you feel nothing at all, you might just not have tight quadriceps, and that's okay too. Okay, you can keep going for that for as long as you need, or you can come with me to the next method, which is a very passive method. Um, so this is definitely one where I'm like, make sure your quads have been warmed up in some manner because you're gonna be here for a while and it can get spicy. So same idea, start right at the top of the tendon. This one is when you get to relax because you're gonna find that top part of your tendon, of the muscle. If you don't feel sensation right away, you might need to let yourself relax for a few moments. It can take 15 to 30 seconds. For some people, maybe it might take up to a minute to let themselves start to become very heavy. It's a little dark, but think of like, pretend to be a corpse. Like you're just dead weight right over the roller. You don't have to be up like this either. Like let yourself fall all the way down and hang out here, okay? If you're heavy, you're still not feeling sensation. You might be just fine in that spot. So slowly inch yourself down to whatever is the next spot in the muscle that makes sense, creates some sensation for you. When you're there, be heavy. Be heavy, hang out here, close your eyes, maybe listen to music or a podcast or something while you're doing this. Because this is the point where now hang out here until the sensation is gone. I can't tell you how long it's gonna take, it might be less than a minute. It might take five minutes for the spot to release. So I'm not gonna be doing the entirety of the quad muscle because if I did, this video would be extremely long. Let's pretend that spot is already released on me and then you move down to the next spot. So I move down like an inch. I feel another spot, so I would stop hang out here until it releases. And you do this repeatedly all the way down to the knee. So let's pretend that I've already released all this. And I'm here, I'm down at the bottom. I'm just above the knee now. This is my last spot as I'm going off camera. And I'm just hanging out here. And that's it, hang out, fall asleep, let yourself fully relax. And that's it. That's the very fast version of the most passive uh, way of doing the mild fascial release. So you can probably get the impression that that version can take a long time. So if you're gonna do that, do it at a time when you know you have the time. Uh, I definitely have sat there for at least 45 minutes releasing just one leg. And also thinking to myself, thank God we only got two legs. <laughs> um, so if you wanna do your final active version of your myofascial release. So go back, pretend you've already found your nice sweet spot where you're like, yep, I definitely feel something in this area of my quad. There's a lot of sensation happening and maybe you don't feel like relaxing over it and just dead weighting it or maybe you have been, and it's just being really stubborn and not releasing. So we're right here, we're going down. You're now going to activate your hamstrings and start doing some hamstring curls. So it's when you're doing the hamstring curl, just like this, you are stretching the quads and lengthening them out. When you bring the leg back straight, you're contracting the quads 
and shorten them again. So try and give yourself a half second to relax at the bottom when your leg comes down again before you do your next hamstring curl. And this is one where just you can do curls until either sensation goes away or maybe your butt muscle and body will tell you, hey, you know what, that's enough, I'm done for today. And you will feel what that feels like. Basically, it'll probably just, your body will be telling you this doesn't feel good. Okay, so let's do some hamstring curls. Get this quad to release. So go slow, go with your breath. And let yourself fully relax at the bottom. And as you can see, like my foot isn't even touching the floor on this spot, that's totally fine, but I can still let it relax down. Hamstring curl again. And the other thing about this that helps, other than the shortening and the lengthening of the muscle, is that when we're contracting our hamstrings, that forces the firing in the quads to be inhibited. So it stop, forces it to slow down, to stop a little bit, because the quads cannot fire as much as they want to when the opposite muscle is working. The muscle that does the opposite movement. I recommend as well, if you notice, let yourself be curious about how the movement feels. It's not just a matter of what the sensation is like in the thigh where the roller is, but also is the movement smooth? Can you keep it perfectly smooth and even and moving at an even speed? Are there spots where it almost seems to jump to the next point, it's almost like a stutter? Are there any areas that maybe feel a little sticky? I noticed right here for me, that's the best word I can describe it, is it kind of feels sticky, it feels a little jumpy. I notice a bit of increased sensation in right in my kneecap when I'm working on it. So I'm just going back and forth a couple of times right there where it's sticky and just seeing how I can play with it, how it might change. So already just on myself, the pain is still in the kneecap, but it's less knee and the stickiness is gone. finished yet that's okay you can keep going for as long as you need to or if you're done slowly bring yourself up maybe do a couple very light I, you know I'm not dropping my weight right now I'm keeping my body light over the roller just to go back and forth a couple times just to kind of clear things out then slowly come back up So maybe take a moment, either kneeling up like this, you can sit cross-legged on the floor, maybe legs outstretched, take them off. Yogi squat, whatever it is you wanna do, a few lunges, doesn't matter, but just see how it feels. How does one quad, how does one thigh feel compared to the other right now? What differences do you notice in the sensation between them? And now do the other side. <laughs> 